Hi everyone, uh, let's have a discussion on the topic of self-generated pressure oil circuit breaker. Previously we have discussed only plain type of oil circuit breaker used is what self-generated pressure oil circuit breaker. So in this type of circuit breaker the energy whatever is used to generate the high pressure in the chamber it is known as the explosion pot. Okay, we are using explosion pot to generate the high pressure. Okay, so that uh, we, we can call it is a pressure chamber or we can call it as an arc controlling device or explosion pot. Why are using explosion pot? To generate high pressure so that we have to use explosion pot or pressure chamber or arc controlling device. Okay. So the contacts are enclosed within this pot. The pot is made up of insulating material and it is placed in the tank. Getting? Okay, two contacts are should be placed in the explosion pot. Okay, such breakers have a high interrupting capacity. The arcing time is also reduced. In this type of self-generated pressure coil, first one is what? Uh, plain explosion pot. We have to see uh, plain explosion pot. How to extinguish? How to uh, quenching the arc in the plain explosion pot? This is the plain explosion pot. It is a cylinder of insulating material. This pot is an insulating material which surrounds the fixed contact and moving contact here. Close at the top with the narrow opening at the bottom side. Okay. And uh, this is also known as a throat at the bottom. The moving contact is a cylindrical rod passing through the throat. When the fault occurs, the contacts separate. An arc is struck between the two contacts so that when arc is formed between the two contacts, there is a oil is a medium, dielectric medium between the two contacts. Hence, uh, whatever arc is produced here due to that an arc energy, the oil is decomposed and it produces the gases. So that a gas should be come in the contacts of the two contacts and that gas produces the arc okay oil decomposes agata gas produces agata gas en madata arc na in middle bandu arc na extinguish madbeku okay the heat of the arc decomposes all into gases at a very high pressure in this pot so for that high pressure maintaining we are using this pot okay and gas around the arc to extinguish the arc right this type of pot cannot be used for the very low and very uh, high currents. So on low fault currents the pressure developed is very small which increases the arcing time. So we have to maintain the uh, how long as possible means as early as possible we have to remove the arc. So arc reduction time should be maintained it should be very less time. So that on the large fault currents the gas is produced so violently uh, in that pot may burst due to the very high pressure so that the breaking capacity of this type of pot is limited. Is it clear? This is the what uh, explain explosion pot. See next one is cross jet explosion pot. It is very suitable for the high current interruption. Okay. See here there are so many splitters are arranged here. Arc splitters are there. There is a fixed contact and there is a moving contact. Whenever the fault occurs in the system, uh, the moving contacts moves down and there is an arc formed between the fixed contact and moving contact. When the arc is formed, we have to extinguish as early as possible. There is oil as a dielectric medium here. Uh, this oil uh, get de decomposed and produce the gases. Okay, Whatever arc is formed, that arc is... Uh, we have to push it in the splitters. There, whatever the splitters are there, the arc in Madabaku, the star Kerutala, Adan Arkana, push Madabaki, push Madi, Illi, push it under another, Illi, different splitters down. This different splitters, this arc is going these two into these splitters. So that whatever arc is formed, we have to split it, we have to divide that arc, and we have to finally remove that arc. Arc, okay, so that we have to maintain the current becomes zero level. When the moving contact is separated from the fixed contact, arc is formed. 
okay this arc is pushed into the splitters and finally it is extinguished is it clear the arc enagutte it push madidre gas form the gas form adudrinda idu arc enagutte push it pushes downwards and there are splitters are connected here splitters are arranged here so that arc is divided splitted here we have to reduce the arc form here and we have to extinguish full arc and we have to quench the arc so that current becomes zero next type is self compensated explosion fault okay in this type of the uh, circuit breaker it is a combination of uh, two type of the fault okay that is the one is a uh, plane explosion fault and one more is cross jet explosion fault okay just now we discussed right the plane and cross it is a combination of these two here okay the So upper part is what here splitters are means it is a cross okay the bottom side is there is no splitters okay that is nothing but a plane type of explosion fault okay whenever arc is formed so we can use it for the high currents and also low currents high currents uh, we can take it in the cross jet explosion and low current uh, it, the bottom side it should be in the working okay so that it, and heavy currents the rate of gas generation is also very high and uh, the pressure exerted is also very high the arc testing is takes place when the first and second lateral okay first and second lateral uh, or or uh, what is what is this orifices first and second lateral okay so these two takes place so that whatever arc is formed between fixed contact and moving contact that arc it goes into the these splitters how it pull uh, how it is going here uh, arc is formed due to this arc the energy is dissipated here that energy uh, decomposes the oil and uh, gases are formed so that gas exits here that uh, arc is pushed into these laterals or faces or faces so that uh, the arc is splitted divided so that the arc is extinguished here right so arc is extinguished in the cross jet explosion type okay and one more here is plane explosion type uh, that is in the low high lower currents if arc is formed due to that arc here gases is uh, due to the composition of the oil gases are formed right so that moving contact uh, is moves downwards through the throat whatever gas is formed that gas is quenches the arc here okay whatever we are discuss cross jet and plane explosion fault that uh, explanation combination bo both explain uh, whatever we discuss that explanation we can write here okay milgade the cross kelgade the jet okay lar form adaga oil decompose agutte gas form agutte aa gas en madutha arc ne extinguish madutha how to extinguish that gas pushes the uh, here okay gas ikkada bantandre arc ikkade distribute aitandre en agutha large is the divide agutre down agutha okay arc and this zones and that is current whatever is there that comes to zero level this is in the higher okay higher current so higher pressure so lower current idaga arc very light agi form agutadu so moving contact downward move aitandre whatever gas are formed that is goes to the through this throat whatever is throat is there here downwards that is in the moving contact that goes through the throat okay and this is what self compensated explosion fault it is seen in the fault suitable for the low or low current as well as the high current interruption see next one is double break oil circuit breaker okay see here in this figure double break means what there is a uh, double breaking here there is a two types of arc form two is double double arc form double arc quenching double arc extinguishing here okay so here one is fixed contact and second is what moving contact in between fixed and moving contact there is a one more intermediate contact is placed here okay in no do extra contact between these two fixed and moving contact so whatever uh, fault occurs that uh, um, heavy current flows through here the contacts are separated okay when the contact separates the first intermediate contact uh, moves along with the moving contact hence there is an arc form between the fixed contact and intermediate contact then uh, one more arc is formed between the intermediate contact and the moving contact so there are two arc form here that arc is splitted here so we can maintain we can manage the arc form between the two contacts is it clear double break oil circuit breaker it employs the intermediate contact between the fixed contact and moving contact 
when the moving contact separates the intermediate contact also follows it so that the r first appears between the first uh, fixed contact and intermediate contact right and also soon after that the intermediate contact stops and a second arc appears between the intermediate contact and the moving contact is it clear the second arc is extinguished quickly by employing the gas pressure and oil whatever developed in by the first arc is it clear whatever oil is there arc is de uh, decomposed the oil and gases are formed so as early as possible arc is extinguished here okay and this second figure shows the cross blast pop this is axially and this is the cross ball blast pop the last type of the oil circuit breaker is the bulk oil and the minimum oil circuit breaker see in the bulk oil circuit breaker the oil performs two types of the functions okay one it acts as a extinguishing the arc that is the medium uh, arc extinguishing medium and also serves as the insulation between the live terminals and also between the earth, uh, live terminals and the earth okay the tank of a bulk oil circuit breaker is earth it maintains the drawback that is it requires a huge amount of oil at the higher voltages so that so that it is not used at the higher voltages and uh, it is not uh, uh, it is rarely used okay a minimum content oil circuit breaker does not employ a steel tank its container is made up of porcelain or other insulating material this type of circuit breaker consists of two sections namely an upper chamber and the lower chamber the upper chamber consists an r control device fixed and moving contact and the lower chamber acts as an insulating support and it contains operating mechanism these two chambers are filled with oil but they are physically separated from each other from each other okay? the arc control device is placed in a resin bundled glass fiber cylinder this cylinder is also filled with oil the fiber glass cylinder is then placed in the porcelain chamber the space between the fiber glass cylinder and the porcelain insulator is also filled with oil the minimum oil circuit breakers are available in the voltage range around 3.3 kV to the 420 kV so nowadays they are uh, by the uh, we are using by the sf6 circuit breakers that is medium is sf6 hex, uh, sulfur hexafluoride type of this circuit breakers okay one of the important advantages that the buck oil circuit breaker has over both the lower content oil circuit breakers and air blast circuit breaker is that the protective current transformer can also be accommodated uh, on the bushings instead of being supplied as a separated piece for the apparatus this is what buck coil and medium oil circuit breaker